Death Stranding 2. I, I don't know. It just felt like a surprise to me. I don't know why. Maybe it's what I was seeing on screen. I wasn't necessarily connecting it to Death Stranding. Uh, thoughts on that. And well, let's talk about this. I love Hideo Kojima's trailers for everything. I know that there was some like, complaints that his trailers are long. I'm like, or that trailer was long. A Death Stranding 2 trailer was long, which was like almost 10 minutes, which was like a quarter of the whole 40 minute show. But then again, like Hideo Kojima has proven himself time and time again that he deserves this kind of treatment from whether it be platforms or studios, or wherever it may be. He's a brilliant man. And um, I, I don't, I don't think I was expecting a Death Stranding 2 trailer. I was really, really stoked on it. I think I was, I knew something was going to come from Hideo Kojima. I just didn't know exactly what or what I was hoping it was going to be. But this trailer, if I had to think back about the first time I saw Death Stranding 1, that trailer, and how confusing it was and how people were picking it apart, trying to piece these things together, trying to also understand Kojima-san and where his creative mind goes and everybody just brainstorming like, what is this game? What is this experience? What is he telling? And then putting it to this trailer, um, which Death Stranding 1 trailer was confusing, <laughs> but it was like it left you thinking and loving this process and just super curious about it. And now when I see Death Stranding 2 trailer, which I've watched three times, he shows so much about what the story continue on for the first one. Um, what Sam is going to be doing, what he's a part of, you know, you have the um, the drawbridge there, you have, you have all of these all of these elements that are being thrown at you yet at the same time there's still a tad bit of confusion and still so much curiosity and questions even though he presented so much in that trailer for you which i'm not even mad about i don't care about the ups delivery 2.0 <laughs> like it is definitely an experience to have that's wrapped up in this game that in a lot of ways it is a video game it is, you know, you have some action in there, you have the story, but it's like a whole, it's a whole experience from like the cinematics to the the landscape that's created for you to the story to the music. It is a whole nine yards experience that happens. So I, I don't I hear if anybody is hating on me for being Kojima-san, Ben Boy over no, here. No, it's fine. But he, he's just, I just love the way that his mind works and what he presents and like, to to be free to do what he wants to create projects to create games that he wants to bring to life and it's just by his own rules which i feel like is is a huge part of his legacy is metal gear a part of his legacy yes it is it's a, it's a very huge part but he's leaving so much more than that and I, I just love that process and I would hope that every game developer gets to be at that point where they're just creating stuff that they love and they're passionate about. And I think that really feeds and you can see that in the games he's creating. Yeah, 100%. I, I had no idea what I was watching, but at the same time, I enjoyed every single minute of it. One of the things I did notice is that there weren't a lot of package delivery happening. You know, they really focused on talking about the weapons that you were going to have access to as if that was going to be more of the core experience instead of the package delivery that we got from the first game. So I thought that was very interesting. And and can we talk about the lady with the hands for the mask? Can we talk about that for yeah. a second? <laughs> can we can we can we just break that up real quick? Because when I first saw that, when I first saw that, I was like, how are you holding your hands like that? Like who does that? Who does it like this and then it just moves yeah. down here? Can we like, talk oh. about that? That was crazy. I thought it was funny. I thought it was great. And then the whole hands like I, I, I wanted I was more intrigued by the puppet. The, the puppet hissing was crazy. puppet. Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, what? <laughs> and now you get this little partner here that's gonna be talking back and hissing at you. Um, no, I but going on with Hideo's sense of humor, which he's he's brought into his games before, that sometimes doesn't make sense. But then you actually grow to love it. Um, I think it was the fight scene with the guitar and I was like, first it was a gun and then it turns into a literal battle axe, Yeah, which guitars are known also as axes. And I'm like, Hmm, I like your sense of humor there, Hideo. I do. 
Yeah, and, it was really dope. That, maybe he likes the movie The Crow as well, too. Because, mm. <laughs> like, it's not like that was the first time you see it, but you have all the little watery eyeliner going on over here. <laughs> but, yeah, every element of that was super interesting about what's going to be, you know, this game that's trending to On the Beach, kind of a long title, but everybody's just going to call it just trending to. Yeah, but I don't think anybody cares, you know? It's yeah. like... It's Hideo Kojima, right? Mm -hmm. Anything that he puts his hands to, we're like in awe of the experience that we get from every single title that we play and enjoy and appreciate. And even if you were just to take the cutscenes and just watch them, it's like, and he's always watching movies like on his uh, Twitter. He's always talking about the things that he's watching or rewatching, you know, like his, his mind is mostly made up of movies. So we know what we're going to get. We're going to get something incredible. And the fact that, you know, we're, we're going to talk about more of what's coming from Hideo uh, later. But, you know, it is amazing to see, you know, him really enjoying the creative experience again. Because I know he has a podcast also where he talks about different things like that. Where, like you were saying, enjoying that process and having the backing to put out the things that you love. And the things that that you want to bring to the world so the world can enjoy it you know i, I think that's amazing uh you know after all that he has gone through and we're not even gonna go into that bag right uh to see you know how much you know how happy he is and you can see that on screen for the things that he's putting out i think that's pretty amazing so so shout outs to that 